Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a full set that I created using my own brand of coloured acrylics glitter balls. These are not quite released yet, but they probably will be or could be by the time you are watching this video. So I'm starting with like a kind of pastel marble, going in with pastel yellow, pastel peach, just swiping down using the medium to wet, pastel green, just patting and swiping. And you can just keep reworking it so if you go over one of the colours it doesn't matter too much. Trying to blend out this lilac a little bit because this one is not from the pastel collection, this one's quite a bit more stronger. This here is Pink Opal by Glitter Bowls, which is already released and it is a core powder which you can use for your extended nail beds or ombres. And really, really pastel lavender which is one of my absolute favourites. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more of the stronger lilac here, just in little areas, dabbing it around and pushing around in no particular order. Going in with some loose glitter and clear acrylic glass slippers by Glitter Bowls, which you can also find on my website. I'll leave all the relevant links below though anyway guys, just keep checking the website for all these colours to be released. Adding a few flakes here, just to give it a little bit extra. As you can see, I've already applied my clear base using Glitter Bells glass slippers. This nail here is just going to be a full glitter, which is already pre-mixed. This is a Glitter Bells one. I'm just going to keep this one just a plain glitter because I'm going to be adding lots of bling to these because this customer of mine absolutely loves her bling. As I said earlier, these acrylics are used medium wet. Applying my bead, blending the top line and swiping down to the end of the nail. And I'm going to add a little bit more, blending upwards first and down. Love this colour so much. And the pastel yellow. This nail that I'm doing here doesn't have to be a perfect blend because I'm going to be applying the Glitter Bells pigment chrome on top. So as long as it looks okay, don't worry about it, because pigment helps everything. <laughs> Second bead, up into the cuticle, and then blending that edge down. Love these colours together. I just decided to go in with a little bit more of the lavender and swipe it up, just so I'm not losing it too much. Moving on to this one, this one's going to be the same as the ring finger that you first see, um, saw me do, but obviously kind of swooshing across the other way. I'm leaving the corner of these completely clear as well, because I just think it looks really cool. So I always apply my first bead to the cuticle just to get that looking nice and clean before I go in with the other colours, so any of your chosen colours is fine. And then just apply kind of like in patches really. And like I said, if you go over any of the colours and think, oh I've lost it a little bit, it's fine, just get a tiny little bead more and go back over it. In with the loose glitter again. This one's just a really nice iridescent glitter. A few little flakes. Not that it needs it, but why not? Gonna cap these now in clear. 
I'm so sorry that I forgot completely to film the thumbs. I am a bit silly. I'm so so sorry, but I will be showing you them anyway, so don't worry. Going in with my second lead of glass slippers here, just to make sure the apex is in the right place. I don't show capping all of them because I don't suppose you want to watch all that and I do have other videos that shows me more in depth doing that. This is the thumb that I missed filming. It's literally just um, pink opal shimmer from Glitter Bells, the iridescent glitter that's see-through that I use on the little finger on the end and a bit of loose glitter over the top. So this is the other hand now. The same design as I did on the previous one that's like the kind of patchy marble with iridescent glitter so if you don't want to watch this one again just wind it forward. Same thing as I did before. You have to be careful with this colour because it's quite a bit more overpowering than the others so you want to just take a little bead so that you're not putting it too much all over the nail. That's why I got the really pastel lavender on top here just to try and to kind of blend that a little bit more. Glitter Bell's Pink Opal. Love that colour so much. This one's the plain pink opal but I have obviously like I said on the thumb used pink opal shimmer is really beautiful and the shimmer the shimmers and um, the glitter bars ones are also core powders which do not need to be capped in glass slippers which is quite useful iridescent glitter Few flakes. Just up that side there. This middle nail, I'm applying the iridescent kind of see-through soft glitter. It's kind of a bit holographic-y. This is the same way I did the thumb. Going in with pastel lavender though instead of pink opal shimmer. Blending it down over the glitter. And then we're going to apply a second bead after, up at the cuticle. Second bead, not too big. Pushing up to that cuticle, swiping down, up again, keeping the brush quite flat and swiping down. And just a little bit of the iridescent glitter, which just adds to it perfectly, I think. I personally loved this nail. <laughs> Same design as the index finger, so again, wind forward if you do not want to see this again. Cuticle first. And then the patchiness. I added a little bit more there because I didn't feel like I quite had enough. Pink opal. Bit of that strong lavender there. Blending it in. And the iridescent glitter. Just pushing that over because I felt like I'd lost my clear bit a little bit. And the flakes. Don't forget, like I said earlier, I will leave all the relevant links below to my website where you can find loose glitters. And although these exact colours are not quite released yet, or could be, 
by the time you're watching this so just go and double check if they are yet um, I do have glam and glitz acrylics on there on site and lots of other things pink opal first bead blending up the line swiping down love that blend get that little piece of glitter off naughty thing a little bit of a second bead here just to help that blend build it up a little bit to show you how I file just one nail for you all that asked so starting with the side walls keeping it straight I will be releasing my own files too soon over the free edge keeping your file flat there just in the sides and make sure they're really straight and then over all the top making sure you try to keep your apex in there and don't file it out but still going over the whole nail sides again and the free edge when you're happy buff away I love buffing now using my glitter bells no wipe top coat top coat all these and cure for 60 seconds super shiny I went out of shot for this one so it's already top coated sorry about that I didn't show top coating all of them because I didn't want you to get a bit bored love this nail so now I'm using the glitter bells pigment number eight which looks like this using my finger I'm just going to rub this onto the nail. This nail has already been cured for 60 seconds in the lamp. Just rub it in, a tiny bit more. And then don't forget to dust it off before you top coat. Top coating again to seal it in and curing again for a further 60 seconds. absolutely love this effect we have actually got eight different pigments pigment chromes on site I just sped this one up because I've already shown you this on the other hand again rubbing this in after curing and then we're going to top coat it again and cure it again so now I'm cleansing all the nails after I've done all that because we're going to apply crystals this is my June collection crystal box these are the rhombus that I'm going to start with using the Kiara Sky Dip Essentials base which is like a really strong resin just going to apply a little bit if you want to see applying crystals in more depth I have got a separate video which I'll leave the link below for you um, which goes into a lot more detail of exactly how I apply my Swarovski crystals and of course all these Swarovski crystals are also available from my website so you literally just apply a tiny little bit of the Kiara Sky Dip Essentials base and apply your crystals allow it to dry for 60 seconds and you are good to go but don't forget even if you're using a no wipe top coat like me you do have to cleanse the nail before you apply otherwise they will just keep sliding around 
So I don't show the full thing of me applying these crystals because like I said I will leave the link below if you'd like to watch that in more depth. So guys I hope you've enjoyed watching this today, this is the final look at the nails. Thank you very much for watching. I did catch her little finger with my file, naughty me, that's why there's a little cut on there, so do try to not look at that. Thanks very much for watching guys, I'll leave all the links below like I said, and hopefully see you all soon. Bye!